When starting a stippling, you want to make sure that you choose the right picture. Then you do what's called a graphite transfer where you just take pencil and mark all over the back of that particular uh, picture that you want. You want to fill up all of the entire space with pencil lead. That way it can be used. Then you want to tape down one white sheet of paper to a board. Use masking or scotch tape, it's easy. Then you take that picture that you did the graphite transfer and you tape it down to that same over the same white paper. Then you begin tracing your image onto the board. You want to make sure that you press down hardly hard so the image shows through when you're done tracing it. So what you should see is the actual image plus whatever darkened areas that you need to go in. Here's, here's a look at what we're talking about. Then you take a pen, your favorite type of pen, and you begin just adding dots because stippling is the art of drawing with dots. And what you want to do is dot in all of the areas that you have outlined as the darker areas first. You want to make sure that you put your dots super close together. That's how you get it to be darker than the other. So you just continue adding dots to all of the areas that you outlined as the darker areas. When the dots are closer together, they appear darker on your picture. So you just keep adding more and more dots until your image starts really looking like what it is that you wanted it to look like. You have to assess what you're doing while you're doing it. You stop, you look at both pictures, you say, hmm, what can I fix? What can I add to? And then you go back and look at crucial highlight areas with your mid-tones, highlights, and shadows. All right, every now and again, stop and look at your piece. Then you begin adding your more dots, saying, where do I need to add dots? Stop, look at your piece again. Now you want to start looking at where do I need to add the dots? How do I finish my dots? All right. Look at your piece. You're always stopping to look at your piece once you start settling things down. You add more dots to actually add areas. This is an eraser. This is where you erase all of the pencil marks that you had on your piece because you need to be as clear as possible. When you've done that, you're done. Good job.